Hey everyone, welcome back to the Goth House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today I am making some classic potato rolls. Nice, soft, fluffy, melt in your mouth, delicious potato rolls. This is one of my back to basics recipes. Let me show you how to make them. To this bowl I am adding uh, 3 fourths cup of warm water and about two and a quarter teaspoon of instant yeast. You can just use one package if you prefer. I have one third cup granulated sugar. I'm just gonna sprinkle about a quarter of it over this and stir it in here. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and add four cups of bread flour. It'll probably need more like four and a half to five. Usually for me it's about four and a half, but we'll see today. Depends on the day. I'm going to put in the rest of my sugar. I'm going to put in one third cup of milk powder. I'm going to put in one and a half teaspoons of salt. This is kosher salt. I have got one cup of mashed potatoes. You can use instant mashed potatoes. You can use uh, leftover mashed potatoes, so long as they're not super full of butter and all that extra stuff. Two eggs, room temperature. Six tablespoons of melted butter. I am going to get this combined. I love this recipe. I have even combined this into garlic buns. You can flavor them. This is a nice stiff dough and it yields the most soft, fluffy dinner roll. Oh my gosh. I, uh, I'm absolutely in love with it. So still sticking to the sides a smidge, adding in more. I'm going to do one quarter, well maybe that's about a half a cup. And we'll see if we need the other half. I think we're good. It's looking nice and shaggy. So shaggy is a stage of dough and when that starts happening it looks like it's going to be way too dry but it comes right together from kneading. So at this point I'm going to let this go and I'm going to turn my timer on seven minutes. Our dough is nice and risen so I am going to pop it out of the bowl here. It's nice and soft. I'm going to try to divide this into 18. <laughs> I'm terrible at this. You, you all know this. So as best as you can. Sorry, I'm stuffy. I'm a little under the weather today. You can um, put a little flour on the counter if you want to. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make these rolls a little bit bigger. So I divided them into 16. I'm gonna do 16 rolls. I have um, my, <laughs> I broke my big pan. So anyway, dinner rolls, fold them in on each other. I've got the counter oil, you know, the oil came out with it. And I do that rather than add extra flour. So I fold my rolls in on each other. And then you wanna give it a roll on the counter into a ball. It 
so you've got a nice perfect ball. And then you're going to put it right into your greased pan. I used shortening for this. These are going to be nice big rolls. You can make them smaller and divide it into 24 and put them in a big pan. I'm kind of rolling it and spinning it and dragging it with my pinky. Um, you want to create what they call feet on the bottom of your bread or your roll. Until it forms a perfect ball. These rolls are so good, so soft, like the melt-in-your-mouth kind. Oh my gosh. You just can't go wrong with a good potato roll. Very basic, very classic roll. I also have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Preheating, I just started it. <laughs> Tonight it's nice to get it going while you are doing this part. Um, that way, by the time you are ready to put your rolls in, your oven's ready. I'm gonna throw a towel over these and just let them rest for 30 minutes. Okay, this is after 30 minutes of just letting them rest. They will rise a lot more in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and put them in a 350 degree oven. They will bake 30 minutes. Okay, mine took 25 minutes in convection, so 25 to 30 minutes. I never know. I swear sometimes it takes longer and sometimes not. I just kind of keep my eye on it and start checking it at 25. I'm going to do just a little bit of butter. You can actually... Um, melt butter and get a brush and paint it over there. Yum. I'm going to let these cool up and then we'll pop one open. Okay, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to try to pull one out from the middle. When you're pulling out dinner rolls, use a fork to pull them apart. And give them five to ten minutes to cool off. Um, that way you're not losing moisture as soon as you're pulling them out. And there is my potato roll. Look how soft that is. The layers. Oh, yes. Still a bit hot. You can see my layers of rolling it. Yum. Look how soft and delicate this bread is. Look how soft. Oh my gosh. Dinner rolls. Dinner rolls and biscuits. Oh my gosh. It's my weakness. It's my kryptonite. I've put some butter on it. My dinner rolls are so big I'll probably have to cut this and put more butter on it. <laughs> they are so good. If you like dinner rolls, I hope you give these a try. Right, that's all there is to making these easy potato rolls. I'm going to add this to my basics playlist. In that playlist, and I will put that in the description box below for you, you will find my tortilla recipe, my bread recipe, my regular dinner roll recipe, um, some brown bread recipes, just kind of basic baking recipes. I've got some crackers in there. I think if we're going to be on a no spend and we want to save our pennies and we've already stocked all these flours and sugars and things like that, these are things we can make at home rather than rush out to the store to buy them. It's so much more inexpensive and it tastes so much better. Anyway, folks, 
If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet and like videos like this, please consider subscribing. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoth18. I'm also on Facebook. And you can visit my blog for all of my recipes, including this one, at JennyGoth.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.